Greatest achievement somebody comes right after their worst defeat. It's time to get back to work. Stop hearing yourself talk. Get off the podcast. Don't be on social media too much. Cut out all the noise. Get back to the mental lab. This orc is an apology to yourself. Why is it that time and time again, we watch these self-improvement videos, get motivated, but then nothing changes? Well, at least nothing long term. Maybe you go to the gym for a week, or you go only once. It's clear that these videos aren't enough to make you disciplined. So how do we escape the loop of watching self-improvement videos and start actually improving? As someone who watches these videos and even makes these videos, I know firsthand that it's not a gap in our knowledge. There's not some secret five-step hack that we're missing that would fix everything. The truth is simple to understand, but difficult to implement. In this video, we'll go over the three core elements you need to actually start improving. First off, we have motivation. Motivation is something that everyone wants but seemingly lacks. But why? Before I answer why, I want to look at the what, as in what is motivation? Motivation by definition is the reason or reasons a person has to do something. By that definition, I can almost guarantee you that you have some sort of motivation somewhere in you. Sometimes you have to dig deep to find your reasons, and this is why I believe we lack motivation. Because many don't like to think deeper than surface level. I'll use the most generic example in going to the gym. Everybody wants to do this, but yet just as many people struggle to actually do it. That's because it's a difficult task. It requires time, commitment, and discipline. You're openly subjecting yourself to pain, and this is why going to the gym requires a lot of motivation. Since we now know what motivation is, we need to look within ourselves for the reasons why we want to actually go to the gym. Or should I say the motivations we have for wanting to go to the gym. Whether that's because you want to look better for others or yourself, maybe you want to become stronger to be able to lift heavier stuff or be able to protect yourself and others, or you simply just want to be healthier so you can live a higher quality life for longer. This is the stuff that you need to think about when looking for motivation, and this is just the obvious stuff. If you really sit down and think about it, I'm sure you can think of a million different reasons for doing a task you want to do. There's also other benefits like getting out of your comfort zone which is going to allow you to grow as a person. Challenging yourself to do hard things will make you have a higher tolerance for these activities and other activities like it. Secondly, we have just do it. For the times when motivation isn't there, you have to know how to still get your stuff done. The way we're going to do this is by implementing the just do it strategy. And no, not the Nike just do it. Basically, you have to start moving, whether that's getting out of bed, taking steps towards the gym, or slowly lifting up the heavy object. You have to just do it. Move even though you don't want to. I find that in these times, it's best not to get caught up searching for motivation inside yourself, or at least not for too long, or you may find that over time it will gradually just get harder to get out of bed, or rather harder to just do it. Usually if you just start moving or doing, you can find motivation to continue to do the task at hand. Right now I'm literally doing this. Truthfully, I didn't feel like writing, but I sat down, started typing, and eventually got into a flow. Not every second needs to be hard, sometimes you just have to start because you never know what can happen. Actions will always be louder than words. You are allowed a planning phase, but at some point you have to just do it. You can't get caught up in everything being perfect either. You have to accept that you won't always be able to do the things that you need to do when you want to. Some of you may want to go to the gym 4 times a week between Monday and Friday just like me. But if you miss a day, then you have to make up for it. Don't just tell yourself, next week I'll get it right. Make things right now. Finally, we have the mentality that failing is okay. Everyone fails at some point, and it's okay. But you have to make things right as quickly as you can. Don't make a habit out of not going to the gym. You need to make a habit out of going to the gym. Not everyone is the exact same, and that's okay. But at the end of the day, your health, your success, all of it, is up to you. You can't blame others, and you have to be able to understand yourself well. Acknowledge that you may be starting at a disadvantage. Your mind is probably wired differently than others, which is why it will be harder for you to start than them. This is just something to use as an excuse. I say this so you don't get caught up comparing yourself to others, because you can't do that or you'll fail. Your mind may have negative habits set up, poor self-images, poor confidence. In that case, it might help to look at it like a game. You have some debuffs. It doesn't make anything impossible, just harder. Sometimes we have to start by removing these debuffs, and sometimes these debuffs can slash will be removed on the journey. Part of building a habit slash rewiring yourself is to become the person you want to be, or as others like to say, destroying your old self. Version of you that was lazy, rude, unhealthy, whatever it may be, and replacing it with your new self which is active, kind, and healthy. Part of becoming this new person is convincing yourself that you are this person, and you do that through doing things that that person would do. This is how you create a new identity in an authentic way, because you can't just lie to yourself because deep down you'll know it's not true. You have to remember that actions will always be louder than words. Talk is cheap. Prove to yourself that you are this person through doing. At the end of the day, it's up to you. 
If it's late at night and you have time, set an alarm for the morning and commit to going to the gym. Or if it's early, then find time to commit to going to the gym later today. If you're interested in the smaller details of good habit creation, then consider watching my video here on how you can do that. But the truth is that this video and that video will be utterly useless without action from yourself. Take your life into your hands and do what you want with it. Whether that's laziness or productiveness is up to you.